Today I want to cover some overlooked features in LEGO Fortnite that I have not seen the community talking a whole lot about. The first of which is going to be the All Items menu, which is an exclusive feature inside of the Sandbox mode, and then also the Friendly Damage, which can be toggled on and off in both Sandbox and Survival. I'm also going to go into some ideas I have on how you can combine both of these features to go ahead and play this game in a completely different way. Now first up with this all items menu, this is going to allow you to directly add weapons, equipment, food, and even hostile enemies to your inventory. Alright, so all you need to do to access this menu is just simply go to where your map and inventory are and then go ahead and toggle on over to all items. As you can see, we have weapons, equipment, resources, food and beverage, and last but not least, our creatures. Now, I do want to point out the animals are also available in this menu. However, we're going to go cover the hostile creatures first. To add the enemies to your inventory, all you have to do is select the one of your choice, go ahead and add it, and then you can go back here. As you can see, I have a frost root now in my hands, ready to launch into action. Let's go ahead and throw this thing at Bright Bomber and see what happens. All right, so the fun does not end there. It's actually where it just begins. I've now selected a variety of enemies that I'm gonna drop in here to see how they fare against each other. Now, that's cool and all, but let's take this one step further. Now, I have a vision of combining both the friendly damage as well as the enemy spawn in to create some epic battles. Now, I can see this playing out in a few different ways, but the first idea I have is splitting off into groups of four where you're given 30 minutes to build a fort. Once the time limit runs out, take a quick break and pause for a moment because now it's time to battle. At this point, it's your team's objective to go ahead and be the first to knock down the opposing team's fort. Now you could approach this from a couple different angles. The first in which you bum rush with all four of your players, leaving your tower completely defenseless. On the flip side, you could choose to potentially send two off to attack while you have two to remain behind and defend your fort. I also wanna mention that I will be organizing a 4v4 battle just like I outlined here today. I do wanna extend this to subscribers, so if you're interested in entering into that, all you need to do is like this video, be subscribed, and stay tuned for the details on how to enter. All right, well that does it for today's video. I really hope you like this idea. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.